So in part one, we talked about hardscaping in terms of the larger brush strokes, but let's think of it in terms of some of the smaller brush strokes that you may not think about. First of all, depending on the size of your project, let's say you're building a retaining wall, it's going to be huge. You may need an engineer, so check your local building codes. And also think about your materials. Find things that mix and match, not only in terms of color, but also in terms of texture. And remember, you don't want to completely eliminate your lawn. That little bit of greenscaping actually helps to soften your hardscaping. Also, buy extra materials, like 10% more. If you have some left over, great. You can use it to accent around your landscaping. And also, don't forget, you don't want to skimp out on things like your subsurface, your, your base material. And you don't want to skimp out on steps like compacting. All that's going to do is make this expensive hardscaping not last as long as it should.